In today's tutorial, we do teeth. Roll the footage. Okay everybody, here we are. This is part two of the teeth series. Last time we made teeth making some with some fake nails and, uh, and toothpicks. Today we're doing two types of teeth uh, using just your glue gun and maybe some uh, nail polish. They look like this. You're gonna love this. I'm, I was very impressed with this and I'm not easily impressed and I thought this turned out really cool. Can you see that? Yeah. Those are the teeth we're going to be making today. So let's go to the studio and get started. I don't know why I say let's go to the studio because we are in the studio and according to my wife this is the guest bedroom and not a studio. So just stay right here and I'll show you how to make those teeth for this first part of the tooth tutorial of the two part tooth tutorial all we're going to need is a uh, glue gun and a non-stick surface like this silicone pad I found this at the thrift store for like 50 cents. You can also use probably some like uh, wax paper, but I haven't tried that, so we'll do that at your own risk. The whole idea is that when we put the glue on it, you can peel it off. Now this technique I've seen uh, in other YouTube channels and other websites, uh, and I have just uh, adjusted it to what I need. So you'll see what the difference is. But if you want to see some of those other tutorials, I've added a link to the channels of my favorite uh, YouTubers that teach you how to make stuff below in the description. For this first step, all we're going to do is make about one inch, about one inch long strips of hot glue. Now we're going to let these guys dry thoroughly. Okay, these are nice and dry now, so I'm just going to peel them off. Uh, the trick here is to take these once you have peeled them off is just cut the little end off and here on this rounded side we're just going to make a flat cut just like this that's what makes it look a little more realistic as you can see i made some little ones right here and some bigger right here and they have a really cool and natural shape so now let's paint them for the paint I'm just going to use some white nail polish this is from the dollar store and this is just to start with the base coat I'm taking some of this air dry clay. You can use any kind of clay. And I'm going to fill this up about halfway through and pretty much pack it in and make it really level. So we get it as smooth as possible. And now we proceed to carve it while it's still soft. And what I'm using is this cuticle thing. What do you call it? To push your cuticle. Uh, because this side, if you can see there, looks like a normal tooth shape and this side looks like a fang. And all I'm going to do is just push this into the clay and leave the indentation in the shape of the tooth. You can make a smaller mold if all you need is a few teeth. I'm going to go ahead and make about 20-30 indentations here in different shapes and lengths so that anytime I need to mold some teeth I can just use this mold. With this part, with the pointy part, you can make these fang looking ones right here. There you go. Little narrow ones on top like the incisors. Have some big incisors here on the bottom and then all the fangs here on the, on the middle. Now we're just going to let this 
dry overnight and then we'll come back and continue the teeth. The trick for this step is to make sure you have a really hot glue gun so that the glue is really liquid as it goes into the mold. It has to go into all the crevices. Uh, and just push the glue in and just make sure it doesn't overflow. If it overflows a little bit, that's no big deal. You can trim it with a, with a little pair of scissors, but that means extra work. We're gonna let these guys dry really thoroughly. And this dry clay, that hot glue should peel right off with no effort. These guys are dry now, so we're just going to pull them out. I'm going to take these guys and clean them up with my hands and then with the scissors, any little loose edges, and we're going to paint them with the nail polish like we did with all the other teeth. Okay, I finished painting the teeth. These are the ones from the mold right here, and these are the ones that we just uh, poured on top of the silicone pad. Uh, on these, once you have the mold done and it has dried, this is pretty much the easiest because you just uh, squeeze into the mold and you're done. It takes 30 seconds, the glue is dry, you just pull them out. But it does require a little bit of cleanup if you uh, get some glue outside of the mold. So from that point of view, it's easy, it's repeatable. Uh, the only bad thing here again is how long it takes to get the mold together and for it to dry. And also that uh, you're going to have the same shapes over and over and over again, you know, hence the mold, right? On this one, it was easy that you just uh, take that glue gun and squirt them out. Uh, you get different sizes and shapes all the time, as you can see, but they're a little bit narrower depending how good, how big the nozzle on your glue gun is. This one's pretty narrow, so you're going to get tiny little teeth like this. They're not that tiny, but they're just about as wide as they're going to get. These are easy to do, but it's very hard to freehand them, so it's not an easy production thing. I messed a bunch of them. Uh, these are the ones that turned out cool. Okay, so these are painted. I'm going to mount them on something to show you how they look. And uh, you tell me which is your favorite. The mold ones or the squeeze ones. These are freehand. These are in the mold. See that? And that. I know you like this tutorial so do me a favor and if you would just share it with your friends using the buttons below share it with anybody that you think might find this useful and if you like it give it a thumbs up until next time i'm ed talbert with monster tutorials i'll see you then don't forget to subscribe that good awesome